All right guys, good morning. Welcome to the Billabong Zoo. My name's Blake and uh, this morning we're gonna talk a little bit about our dingoes. We have three dingoes here at the zoo. Each and every day when we're open, there's always a dingo available for a bit of a pat and a photo. If you've been here before, then this is uh, more than likely the dingo that you would have patted. Ernie's 14 years old and he's been with us since he was three months of age. Uh, and in that time he's met and uh, been patted by lots and lots of different people. Now 14 makes him pretty old. Uh, a dingo in the wild might only live five or seven years in captivity. If they make it to 13, 14, that's fantastic. But as he is at 14, he's really starting to feel it a little bit. So we've actually brought some younger dingoes into the mix and give him a few more days off. So he lives here with his sister Beauty at 12 and our new addition Archer at only a year of age. And full size is about seven, eight months of age. So uh, our our new addition Archer is definitely at his full size, which uh, would average at about 20, 22 kilos. Ernie's a little bit bigger, a bit bigger framed, a bit heavier than that. Um, so a medium size domestic dog. Probably my favorite fact about the dingo is something that most people don't really know about them. They're actually an introduced species here to Australia. So although we sort of think of them as our native dog, uh, dingoes were brought here somewhere around four or 5,000 years ago by a man, introduced to the northern coastlines, and then really thrived. We've got so much that's food size for a dingo. In modern times now, mostly what they're feeding from is rabbit, which is a fantastic helping hand for us in keeping the rabbit population at a minimum. Usually the sorts of things they're eating is going to determine the structure or size of the group. So if there's not a lot of food, if the prey items are small, there's not gonna be a lot of a lot of dingoes living together because it's very hard to split a small rabbit 10 or 15 different ways. But if there's full grown buck deer and wild boar and things to hunt, then that's when they're gonna to group together because that's food that they can't acquire on their own. However, if they are in a pack, they can work together, they can acquire that food item and then they're able to uh, share it and maybe over the course of even a series of days so it's it really uh, does tend to determine what sort of pack structure they have here at the zoo with our three purebred dingoes something that you can come and pat meet each and every day 11 30. so thanks for tuning in from me and ernie uh, here at billabong zoo in port macquarie we hope to see you soon oh you want that good boy let me break it a bit for you. How about this bit? You chewing that one? Yeah. Good boy.